in multi-engine propeller airplanes with propellers that rotate in the same direction, normally clockwise as seen from behind, the right hand descending blade produces more thrust than the left hand ascending blade. This is called P-factor and you can learn more about it in one of my previous videos. The result is that the total thrust from the propeller is not centered in the middle of the propeller but rather is somewhat offset to the right. This means that the distance from the propeller thrust to the center line of the airplane, called the longitudinal axis, is shorter for the left propeller than for the right. If one engine fails on a multi-engine airplane, it can be difficult to control because of the imbalance between thrust from the operating engine and drag from the dead engine. This imbalance causes the airplane to yaw. However, this effect is different depending on which engine has failed. If the right engine fails, the relatively shorter distance between the left propeller's thrust and the longitudinal axis means this yawing effect is not as strong. If the left engine fails, however, the longer distance between the right prop's thrust and the longitudinal axis results in a larger yaw. The same way, say, a force applied to a longer wrench would create a stronger turning force to tighten a nut. This greater yawing when the left engine fails is why the left engine is considered the critical engine, as its failure results in more difficulty controlling the aircraft than if the non-critical engine failed. Multi-engine airplanes with propellers that rotate opposite directions do not have a critical engine.